Hey guys, welcome to day four of crafts. I hope you've enjoyed what we've done so far this week. Today's craft is going to be salt painting. Now you might ask me, how do you paint with salt? And the answer is like this. We'll be using glue to draw basic pictures and then covering the glue with salt. Then we'll be adding our paint carefully on top of the salt, dripped, not smeared. And the paint is going to spread out through the salt. And when it dries, the salt will make the paint glitter. It's very pretty. Let's get started. All right, guys, let's get our workstation set up. To start, we're going to need a paper plate, a bottle of white glue, a container of salt, a container of water, a paintbrush, and of course, some paint. If you're working with the watercolor paints, you'll be taking the water and putting it directly on the paints and then painting. But if you're working with the acrylic paints, you're going to need a separate container to hold the paints to mi mix them with a little bit of water. Now, we're arts and craftsy at my house, so I have this fancy little uh, paint palette here that I'm going to be mixing in. But if you don't have something like that at your house, you can use anything from a plastic cup to a paper plate to a small bowl if you need, as long as your parents say it's okay. And if you're working with these little paint containers, you can simply open them up and put a little bit of water right inside that container. One optional thing is a little baking sheet to catch any salt that spills off your plate. Another optional material is a small spoon to help with scooping out the water. It's not necessary, you can use your paintbrush, but it's easier with a spoon. The last thing that we're probably going to need is a paper towel to wipe up paint on your fingers. So I'm going to start by mixing up my paint and having it ready to go. So I'm going to take a little of each of my paints and pour them in my containers here. And now I'm going to be adding a small amount of water to each paint until the paint is runny but not completely watery. I find that you need at most about half water and really a little less than that. So there shouldn't be any more water in your paint than there is paint. And now I mix it up. Remember, if you're using watercolor paints, you got to skip this step. When we get to painting, you'll just be putting your water directly on the paints. Now that we've got our paint mixed up, we're going to set that aside for now and pull out our plate and our glue. Now take a moment to think about what kind of design you want to make. You can go with something realistic like I do, or you can do something abstract or totally you, whether it's swirls and loop-de-loops or stripes and zigzags or a drawing of a pet or just your name. Once you've decided what you want to draw, you're going to take your glue and you're going to open it. You do not need a lot of glue. A thin line is enough. These glue bottles pour plenty fast. You won't need to squeeze very hard. I'm going to go ahead and sketch out my design. And you may notice it doesn't really look very good. Glue does not take fine control well, but don't be discouraged by that. It'll still end up looking nice, whatever the result. Our next step involves our salt. This is the step you may want to put your tray under your paper for. We're going to take that container of salt that we have and we're going to shake that salt all over the glue. Once you're satisfied that your glue is completely covered in salt, we're going to very carefully take the plate and bring it either to a trash can or over our tray here and we're going to carefully and slowly pour off the rest of that extra salt. You don't need to shake it much. Remember, we want most of this salt to stay attached to the glue. And now comes the decorating part. We'll take that paint that we put off to the side earlier, and we'll take our paintbrush, and now we're going to drip drops of this watery paint onto the salt. Oh, one thing I forgot. 
you want to be very gentle with this paintbrush. You're not smearing the paint up. You're using the paintbrush to gently touch and drip the paint on. That glue is still wet. If you push it, it's going to smear. But if you use the paintbrush to drip the paint in drops on, the salt will spread the paint out. And there's your salt painting, guys. I hope you like it. It's going to be wet for a while, so ask your mom and dad to find a flat place where it can be left alone to dry for probably the rest of the day. Now, even once it's dry, that salt is not super well attached. So parents, be aware this craft will probably continue to shed salt. Sorry. Your post-camp challenge for today, if you feel like it, is add more. Make another one, add more details to your current plate. I know 15 minutes isn't a lot of time. The limit to this post-camp challenge is only your imagination. Have fun, guys.